Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. And if you've been following us for a while, you know that we've been living full time in our RV for the last two years. And storage solutions while living in an RV are very limited. That's why we don't carry any Christmas decorations. <laughs> that is not true. And I've managed to find ways to store some Christmas decorations in this RV. When you live in an RV, you don't need that many Christmas decorations, especially for nativity scenes. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. We'll show you our storage solutions, not only for Christmas, but for some other stuff. And if you don't know who we are. I'm Joel. I'm Deb. Our dog Maya's down here and we are chasing our sunshine. So the first year we were away for Christmas time, I took the dog for a walk and came back and the RV had exploded into Christmas decorations, which I didn't even know we had with us. He might not have known they were with, but it's not like I hit them on you. Well, I didn't see them. Just because you don't know what's in every box isn't my fault. Uh, this is true, and apparently they are above my head where I sleep the whole time. Exactly, I wasn't hiding them. But there are some solutions for you for bringing stuff like decorations along. The number one thing is to keep your decorations small and limit them to a small box. That's why we're able to have four nativity scenes, which you will soon see because they are small. They are very small and they all hold special meaning to me as some were my mom's and some were ours in our house. So we were able to bring those with, which makes it even nicer to celebrate the holidays and make this feel like home. And that's one of the most important things you can do as an RVer that's full time or any time is make your RV feel like home. And if you can believe it, we had even more nativity scenes when we had our sticks and bricks. Yeah, we had nine. So <laughs> <laughs> I like my nativity sets. Is there something that you like to collect for Christmas or another holiday? Let me know in the comments. We are so excited to show you guys this new storage unit that we got uh, just a few days ago for our storage solutions here in the RV. And already it is a game changer for us for storage. together pretty easily once you figure it out. Push, push from the inside. Comes with the stabilizing ring. Top on. Voila, instant organization. It already looks a lot better in here and we're not even done organizing yet. So uh, after two years of full time in and uh, living with clutter, we're trying to get rid of it. Clutter, not you, mine. We're not getting rid of you. We bought the four unit um, piece, but we keep all of our YouTube gear, dog treats, of course, and our hiking uh, equipments in here, extra backpacks and bags, but it keeps everything in one place. And all of these units actually come apart and are easy to carry back and set on the bed during travel days. But the big thing is, is with it all in this unit, there ain't clutter everywhere in the RV because once clutter starts, it ends up making the RV look like a mess and nobody likes living in a mess. As Deb said, these are nice and easy to take apart and bring back to the bed for travel days. Like most of you, we carry a lot of stuff on our bed during travel days, but it's important to not be moving the slide in or out with all that weight on there. As you may have remembered from a previous video, we had some slide issues and we are pretty sure it was because of the weight that was on the bed because we were running it in and out with the weight on there. So make sure when you're getting ready to leave your site, you bring that slide in and then put all the weight on it, travel to your destination, take all the weight back off and organize and then run that slide out for safety. Uh, 
Mai wanted to help out with this next storage solution, which I have been loving. It's a flexible bin that we're keeping all of our shoes in. Shoes are a huge issue in the RV. Um, and I found this bin, I think for 20 bucks at uh, Target, wasn't it Maya? Yep. And it's been handy. It's really easy. It's lightweight. It's easy to lift. <laughs> It's easy to lift for travel days and set back on our bed as well. Um, but we've limited the number of shoes that we take with. Um, and it's basically down to both of us carry a pair of Keens with, a pair of tennis shoes, a pair of hiking shoes, shower shoes, and of course, my cowboy boots. <laughs> I love those. <laughs> but if you have a better storage solution for shoes, as that's one thing that always seems to clutter up the entryway the most in an RV, um, please let us know and leave that in the comments because other people are also probably looking for the same solution because shoes are an issue in an RV and where to keep them. So storage solutions, this is what I fit all of my Christmas decorations in. And this is Joel's side of the bed and it was all stored right up here over his head the whole entire time. It was not a secret but I can fit everything that I bring for Christmas in these two boxes, but I did just add a Christmas tree, but I have a solution for that as well with a tin that Joel just got uh, when he bought a bottle of Jack Daniels. So the Christmas tree is gonna be stored in that. And also we have hats and other extra blankets up here and the two, three stockings that we have just get mixed in there. So it all fits really nicely right up here. All right, and welcome to the tour of our Christmas decorations. First and foremost, we have our hanging uh, stockings, of course, right over the fireplace, aka television. We don't have a fireplace in our RV, so this is working quite well. And these were the stockings we actually had in our house. And here is the first of the nativity sets. Nativity set number one, right here, small, along with a beautiful small tree and blinky lights that I hate. And I'm gonna wait and see if I can find some lights on sale once Christmas is over to replace the blinky lights. I don't like them. What about you? Are you a blinky light fan or not? Let me know in the comments. I hate them worse than she does. <laughs> blink, blink, they're blinking, they're blinking. And here is nativity set number two, right here. It was a special set to me. It's my mom's set that she brought back from Ireland when she was 18 and traveling in Europe. Um, it's beautiful. Unfortunately, uh, a dog of mine as a child, and a uh, black naughty lab, ate baby Jesus and a part of the uh, crib, but we have a different baby Jesus to put in the place now. Isn't that nice? And as you can see, Maya's wanting to break into these cookies, and so do I. And we cannot thank our friends, Kevin and Larika from Retired Road Tripping enough for bringing us these amazing Christmas cookies that are homemade by their family. They sat down the other day and made 11 different cookies. That is crazy. I don't make cookies anymore because we live in an RV because there's a limited space but now we have amazing cookies to celebrate Christmas with. Thank you guys. Here is the third set. This is the tiniest set that I do own. I actually purchased this set when I was in Mexico on vacation with my parents. My mom and I saw it and I just had to get it. And obviously small in an RV, it fits perfect in here. Don't you think Maya? Yeah. All right. And the fourth and final is actually one of my favorites. Who doesn't love little baby Jesus as a moose? I love moose. And this is a set that actually my mom had bought me and Joel for a housewarming present for a house when we bought it. Um, that used to be our sticks and bricks for 20 years. But now it's special. It's sitting right here in the RV with us as well. So like I said, you can bring small things with that make a huge difference and make your RV feel at home and like Christmas. Uh, but another thing that I absolutely love is right behind me is our home. And this is interchangeable for each holiday. Right here, this can change out, it snaps down, and I can replace it every holiday with something different. And we're always feeling like we're at home. 
living in an RV full time has taught us one thing. It's to manage our spaces and to maintain a clutter-free RV for a more enjoyable full-time RV living. It teaches you that you need to be creative with the space that you have and remember to utilize the vertical space, be creative with underutilized spaces, and pack small. Right, and you can still pack holiday decorations. If you haven't noticed, I've been changing headbands <laughs> this whole entire time throughout this video. Let us know in the comments how many different headbands I actually have worn. And how many Joel wore. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, but he did wear a red shirt. Oh, I did. To celebrate Christmas. Wait, you wear red shirts all the time. <laughs> At least that's what I've been told. We hope that you have enjoyed this video. And if you haven't yet, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can get notified when our next video is out. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. And if you have some creative solutions of your own for storage, make sure you leave that in the comments below. The most important message that we want to give for this video is Merry Christmas to all of you. We hope you're having an amazing time with friends and family, and we hope we see you someday out here on the road. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas, Thanks. everyone. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Don't stop it. <laughs> no, it's all right. <sighs> Hello, everyone, and welcome. Huge difference in our RV, um, and it is, t it, bleh, and it comes apart. And Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified when our next video is out. And don't forget to subscribe. Did you say that already? <laughs> no. I forgot what you said. Oh, so I'll do that all. Okay, wait. Who's a good model? Are you? You like Christmas?